Sustainable Salons. I'm in Demi International on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I'm here with Anne and Lauren. And tell us a little bit about Demi International Maroochydore Campus. Sure, Maroochydore Campus is our flagship. We have over 150 students here and most of our head office staff are based here in Maroochydore. It's the longest running campus that we've had and it's been around for 12 years. Um, and then outside of Maroochydore, we've got five other campuses. So we've got Chermside in Brisbane, North Brisbane. We've got Gold Coast, Ipswich, Toowoomba and Cairns. Amazing. Yes. Um, so I know that three of your sub uh, academies came on uh, late last year. Yes. You just had another three come on board. So you've got yes. all six on board now, Yes. which is amazing. Lauren, why did you choose to be part of Sustainable Salons? Um, so our colleague Naomi came back from an expo, uh, an event, and she was really excited about sharing. Um, she picked up actually Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our annual newspaper that we bring yep. out <laughs> every year. Imagine we could be doing this with all of our students, you know, sending them hair, all that waste going into valuable use, like putting it into nets, yep. oil, and she was just really, really excited about it. So, awesome. yeah, that's where it started. I'm here with Adele now. Adele's part of the business development team here at Demi International at Marucci Door. Adele, tell me a little bit about what are the resources that you're now recycling with us, through us, um, the items that were previously going in the bin, landfill, general waste. Ooh. Well, everything was going in the general waste actually. Sure. So um, then we brought you guys on board and you don't realise how much that you've been putting in the landfill yes. that really could be going in. I mean, we're helping the planet for one, but it's really good because we have got a hair salon and a barbering salon. So we use a lot of foils and on a, we were open two days a week, we could have um, foils all day long. Like yeah. two days of foils, we could have that. You know, yes. so it's really good. Everything's now going in that in that bag, and it's coming to you guys, which right. is great. And the hair as well. We've actually got a little girl coming today, and she's donating her ponytails, and Amazing. she's gone through. They rang us to do that, and I'm so excited for her and her mum. She's been growing her hair for so long, and I'm so excited. And the reason that she picked us was because she looked on our website, and we were part of the sustainable oh, salon. She, she found you on the salon locator. Are you having much chemical wastage in the hair area, or the beauty area? Now we are, yes. Yeah, so that's another good one. That you've so up. you're probably noticing that um, you're noticing it now yes. because <laughs> now you're aware of how quickly this container is filling up, right? So this is a liquid chemical container. Um, so we can take things like peroxide, developer, mixed color, so um, oxidized color, so that could be um, tint, semi, powder, lightener mixed up. Any excess color, instead of putting it down the sink, we get you to pop it, or we get the students to put it in the container. Mm. Perm liquids, acetone from the nail area, um, or any straightening liquids, tanning solutions, anything like that as well in the yeah. in the hair. Uh, most hair and beauty products are made up with a high water content, so sometimes between 90 and 95 percent. What happens is you'll see the chemical raise to the top and the liquid will be down the bottom. So it separates. We destroy the chemical through hazmat and we uh, repurpose the water. Fantastic. Yeah. Always been a big part of the hair industry, um, chemical wastage, yeah. but now that we are aware that there is some chemical waste in beauty as well. So I'm here with Steph, so some of the beauty trainers here at the Academy at Demi International um, in Maroochydore. So I thought it'd be nice to get Steph in and ask her a little bit more about the beauty side of things. Steph, tell me a little bit about um, since becoming a member with Sustainable Salons, why, what are you seeing or what are you noticing is so important for these students and the beauty industry or to be part of sustainability with the beauty industry? Yeah, of course. So since becoming a member, um, we get students arrived to the academy and they know so little about the importance of wastage and the impacts on the environment but also the impacts of if they don't understand now when they leave us they go into a salon and they're not prepared so they're wasting a lot of product um, you know they're using excess towels electricity could be as simple as they're not turning um, their hot towel tabbies off their facial machines properly um, so a lot of money and um, product is going down the drain yeah yeah so i guess you're um noticing all of this that it's not just about the recycling and it's not just about the repurposing that we do at sustainable salons but now you're sort of starting to realize that the other aspects of it 
So you're getting them prepared for, for yeah. the workforce. Yeah. That's amazing. Ultimately, what do you want the students to know or to understand about sustainability when they leave here? Yeah, of course. So ultimately, they really need to understand the overall impact um, if they're not doing the right thing. Yeah. And that's, you know, the importance of, you know, getting your um, disposable utensils, snapping them in half so that, you know, you can use either end of the stick. Um, right. You know, making sure that you are recycling, um, not putting a towel in the um, linen that hasn't even been used, um, and more importantly as well, this product, you need to decanter what you're going to use for the day and make sure that you don't overdo it. Why is it so important to you here in the Academy and for Demi International to be part of a, a sustainable um, education program for the students? I think it's really important because it's their grounding. It's the same as whatever you start that student with in terms of the product range that they're using. They tend to take that through their entire career. So starting them with good stuff, starting them with understanding ways, starting them with stuff like this, they will carry it through to their business or their employment for, for most of their career. It is important. Hi Tara, hi Lauren. Hi. Tell me, since being on the program, is there any other ways that you've become more sustainable within the business outside of our initiatives? Yeah, of course. So uh, one of the biggest things that we've really tried to do is move a lot of our paper-based forms onto our online platform. So moving away from paper and capturing a lot more of it through QR technology and through automated forms. So Lauren, anything else within the business that you've um, turned sustainable? Yeah, we uh, moved to using kids cups wherever we can. Um, big coffee drinkers in this team, so it's awesome. Awesome. Oh, amazing. Thanks, girls.